Do you have a phone that has a GPS built into it? You know, where you talk into it and it tells you exactly where to turn and exactly how to get someplace. Now, wouldn't it be neat if you had a GPS for a grocery store or other big stores? You do. And it doesn't cost you a penny. Just the other day, Nancy sent me to the store, a grocery store, to pick up some Jiffy corn muffin mix. I had no idea what it looked like, no idea where to find it. I walk in, and I'm in the vegetable department, and there's this guy putting up fruit. So I go up to him, hey, you got a second? Can you tell me where the Jiffy corn muffin mix is? Quicker than GPS. He says, yeah. Go back this way, about 50 feet. Turn to your right. You're going to see aisles. Look for aisle six. It's the second aisle. Aisle six. Turn right in aisle six. It's going to be in the left-hand side, top shelf. I went there. 15 seconds later, I had my Jiffy corn muffin mix. Now think about it. That guy works there six, eight hours a day, putting stuff on the shelf. I probably could ask for anything. And he would say, yeah, here's how to get there. And talk about customer service. I think Trader Joe's is, is outstanding. I've done this several times. They move things around a lot. And I remember there was one day I was trying to find the orange chicken and had no idea where it was. And I went up to a lady. I said, can you help me for a minute? I'm trying to find orange chicken. Can't find it. And this has happened every time. They walked me to the orange chicken. I kept on saying, hey, you're a great GPS. And I got there and pulled up the orange chicken. And until I put it in that cart, they didn't leave. And then I'd say, thank you. But this just happens over and over and over. I, you know, I need a pen refill. And I walk in and I see somebody putting stuff up. And I'll go and say, do you happen to have a pen refill for a Parker Jotter? And again, almost every time, They'll walk you right there or at least give you specific directions. Now, it's failed three or four times out of, geez, hundreds of times. And what happened, they sent me in the wrong way, found somebody else, they sent me in the right way. But the point of telling you about this is simply that, hey, this could save you a lot of time, and time for a lot of people is money. Here's how I use an example in a speech. I made this up. What you do is you ask for a volunteer, and they come up, and you have them put on a little mask over their face. Just an eye guard. Cannot see a thing. And then you tell the audience, do not help them. And then you say, what I want you to do is find the exit door. But first, let me spin you around six or seven times. And of course, they have no idea where to go. And the audience can't help them. Then you say, take the mask off. They come back. And you say, we're going to do it a second time. But this time, we're going to change things. I'm going to have you put the mask on. I'm going to spin you around. But this time, I want the audience to help step by step. This time, they put it on. They still can't see. But the audience is saying, go to your left. Go to your right. Watch the chair. Do this. And they can find it because the GPS of life kicked in. And you know, I think that the best GPS of life is mentors. People that are already doing what you're dreaming of doing. They're already doing it. They're successful. Meet them at, at workshops or online, you know, Facebook online groups or online groups, Twitter, whatever, and you can go to the top. Now, the, the reason I say that is because I was in TV broadcasting for 40 years. And I can't remember even one time when I turned somebody down that was a high school student or a college student that wanted to get into TV. And every station that I've worked at, it's the same way. I can't think of anybody that's ever turned somebody down that really wants to get better. They're the GPS of life. They've already been where you are now and know how to get out of it or how to make a U-turn when you should. The GPS of life. You know, I compare it to libraries and the library books. They don't come to you. You have to go to them to get the help. So next time you're at a big grocery store, you have no idea where toothpicks are. Go up to somebody stocking shelves. Hey, do you know where the toothpicks are? And tell them, thanks for being my GPS. I'm John Gross. 
Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.